Hi, my name is Robert Chartier. Thank you for joining today, us today in this VA uh, segment about the VA no-no, no money down, no cost. My name is Robert Chartier. I am the broker of record of the Chartier Realty Group. My DRE number is 0117 <clears throat> Now, in brief, the, the VA no-no program, uh, there, there have been times in the market where the VA no-no program was, uh, it was difficult to do in 2008, 9, uh, beginning of 2010. Uh, they, they, they were a little bit of a challenge to do because the multiple offers was so heavy. Uh, most the agents, uh, again, I'm always saying this, but as sad as it is to say, didn't understand the strength of the of the VA purchase offer, the military professional, uh, as 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 we do. So, due to ignorance, there's no nice plight. There's no gentle way for me to say that. But due to pure ignorance, <clears throat> the uh, military professionals were getting treated unfairly, uh, and the FHA and conventional uh, buyers were getting an advantage. Thank God. Fortunately, October eighth, twenty twelve. Most of the agents out there is still not as nearly as many as I would hope. They all should, but most of the agents have smartened up. They're a little slow on the beat, uh, a little a little slow to, to catch up with the reality of what's going on in the market, but the VA has always been a fantastic loan and uh, the, the military professional has always been, in our opinion, the best buyer, the best home seller in the market. Um, again, that's in our personal opinion and we just have that passion for VA. So, uh, and military professionals. So, I will tell you that the VA no-no, no money down, uh, no cost loan is absolutely in this market today, again, October 8, 2020, 2012, and about for the past year or so, has absolutely been the lion's share of the loans that we're doing for military professionals. <clears throat> Uh, we do them with you know, U.S. Bank, Wells Fargo, uh, a, a, a litany of, of brokers that are really good that, that carry the VA uh, program. And uh, the VA No-No is not only a fantastic program, it, it is also a very, very efficient program, and it saves the military professional buying a home uh, a, a mountain of money. Now, please understand. When you buy a home on a VA no-no program, <clears throat> that doesn't mean that a dollar doesn't leave your pocket until you close your home. Just please understand that. Should anyone tell you that, should anyone allude to that illusion that is would be misleading to you, uh, please either let them know they need to be standard corrected, have them come watch this video if they want. I said this many times, it's not a training video for agents that don't know how to do this business or deal with specific types of transactions. But um, I will tell you that when we do the VA no-no, uh, it's, it's a very smooth transaction and in fact, when you, you do need to put a down payment on the house, it's typically 1% is all you need to put down. It's about a $400,000 house, $4,000. That money will just sit in an escrow. It demonstrates, well, if you don't do that, your offer probably won't get accepted. It's a huge disadvantage because, and that's not the secret to how we get VA offers accepted, by the way. <clears throat> that's just standard practice. 1% down, and that $4,000 just simply is a, 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 a benchmark of your commitment to purchase the property. And that's all it is. You will get, if not... Uh, the lion's share uh, of that money back, <clears throat> you will get all that money back. And we have closed many transactions where the buyer, our military buyers, literally walked away uh, at the net end of escrow once that document was signed and their check came back from escrow for absolutely zero out of their pocket net proceeds on that transaction. But please understand, you still do need to come up with some, uh, a 1% is suggested, uh, strongly suggested, it's pretty much a standard, 1% uh, down of the property that you are purchasing just to demonstrate, it's called EMD, Earnest Money Deposit, and it just simply demonstrates that you're in all earnesty, sincerity, and honesty uh, plan on buying that property. If we were to put an offer in for you and you don't put a penny down on the property, <clears throat> even though technically, it can be done. It also creates a problem with the escrow because should your escrow not go through for any reason, we have not crashed an escrow in six years, I think. 
knock on wood because we know what we're doing. We just don't crash escrows. But should it happen, if there's an appraisal ordered and a home inspection ordered, um, home hazard report, and there's a number of things that, that are going to accumulate some you know, responsibility to pay. Um, if that does not go through, somebody has to pay that. Uh, we don't pay it as, as the brokers. The listing agent doesn't pay that. Either the buyer or seller has to pay that. And if you're putting an offer on the property, uh, basically if your escrow didn't go through for any reason, you would be responsible for paying that. 9.9 .9 times out of 10 that's how it works but as our military buyers are always very solid they're resolute and very focused on the purchase um, we don't have escrows crash but you still need to put one percent down that's the bottom line uh, again at the end of escrow once it, everything is quote unquote settled which is the day after your transaction closes or is recorded in San Diego you have to record and then you are the official legal owner the escrow will cut checks the following day. This is this is industry standard, and in 9.9 .9 out of 10 over the, over these transactions, the VA no knows that we have done. Uh, and we don't do the loans, by the way. We're, we're strictly real estate, but we're quite familiar with the process. Uh, with eight years of mortgage banking, I certainly understand the VA no no uh, substantially more than the average agent does, and I feel that's my obligation, just being professional. But again, that's me, and. Uh, we we will then have all the funds returned to you. We've had some clients maybe that have $500 out of their pocket at the end of the transaction on a VA no-no, but more times than not, uh, recently over the past seven to eight months, pretty much 100%. Now, you can't get 101, 102%. In other words, you can't make money. The, the bank and just the, the regulations of the VA no-no program, they don't allow you to make money. So you're not going to you know walk away with a check for two, three thousand dollars $3,000 over your earnest money deposit. Just please understand, this will not happen. It, it is, it's illegal. It's, it's a felony, actually. So for, their, for that reason, uh, alone, without elaborating, not going to happen. But to get into a home with not a penny out of your pocket at the net proceeds and closing your transaction is as good as it gets. Civilians can't get those loans anymore. They don't exist in the civilian market. So what a wonderful, absolutely phenomenal program. The VA no-no, we do them all the time. Uh, we can't promise every single military professional is going to get the no-no program. Uh, it's not if you qualify or not, because you won't qualify for it, but the way we have to structure the transaction and, and, and the monies that have to be exchanged and sometimes there's some work that needs to be done to the property. It used to be that if any termite work needed to be done to the property, uh, on a VA loan, this changed a couple years ago, the military professional was absolutely prohibited from paying that. Now they changed it a couple years ago, and now the, the home buyer, military professional, actually uh, can pay that. And as you can imagine, most, most agents and sellers uh, will try to insist that you pay for that, but let us negotiate it because even if the home needs termite work and some other repair work done, more times than not, we will still get you netted out at the end of your close, your transaction, uh, net with nothing out of your pocket or an absolute pure zero out of pocket VA no no. To get it right on the numbers, it's it's not an exact science, but there's certainly a science and a way to do it. And we don't feel anybody does it better than we do it because with eight years of mortgage banking and a, an in-depth understand of how the, the VA no-no works from a, a, a real estate agent's point of view and us knowing how to communicate with the bank to make sure that happens, uh, it's almost a, a foregone conclusion that it'll happen for you. But again. There are some, some exceptions, and it may be a couple hundred dollars and maybe a thousand dollars out of your pocket at the end of that. Uh, usually that's about the worst case scenario on a three fifty dollars to $450,000 home. So anyways, uh, Robert Chartier, 858-273-1861, or you can call me directly on my cell. Any questions you have on that, villa, uh, that VA no-no, we don't do the loans. We're not licensed to do loans anymore. We don't care about that part of it as far as what we... Uh, what we do personally in the office, but we have the knowledge to interface and competently communicate with the lender that is doing your VA no-no to make sure that the probability uh, is going to be extraordinarily high that you're going to get a pure VA no-no loan. My cell phone is 858-568-6673. Give me a call if you have any questions on the VA no-no. Um, 
I would be more than happy to answer what I can. Uh, if it's something I need to double check uh, with the lender, I'm always going to do that first because I'll never wing an answer unless I know for sure uh, what that answer is with accuracy. So if you have a question on a VA no-no, again, we do not do them here in the office, but we are familiar with them. We will be more than happy to either just put you directly in touch with a lender that is going to give you the answer direct drive and that's usually the best way to go but about nine out of ten questions if not more on the VA no-no will at least be able to answer for you up front as a, as a realtor office so 858-273-1861 or you can call me at 858-568-6673 uh, to all military professionals we salute you. It's honest and sincere. We really love working with military professionals. And please don't hesitate to give me a call. You're going to get honest, straightforward answers with us, and that's what we're known for. Have a great day, and thank you so much for tuning in. Bye for now.